Hi everyone, this is Corrine and I'm here to talk to you for a bit about a book that's on your required reading list for your English classes. And I also want to talk about the new format that's going to be available. You might already have the, the digital ebook or PDF version of this title, but you may soon be able to check it out as an audiobook and basically listen to the story being read to you with different uh, narrator tones and quality, which would be completely exciting. So, this book is called uh, Fahrenheit 451. It's by Ray Bradbury. It is a National Book Award winning book published by Random House Publishing. And basically, it's a story centered around a society focused on censorship. So in libraries, if you don't know, libraries are not supposed to censor information, which means they're not supposed to ban material. They're not supposed to filter information because they're supposed to be information providers. Well, in this society, they've decided that Ban Books Week, which right now in our current society only exists for certain titles that people determine should be banned, now exists for all of society. So they decided that all books need to be done away with because they're all offensive, they all have challenging content, and in this futuristic society, which is dystopian, they've just decided that there's so much they can do without in terms of reading. And so they've completely altered um, the way we live and the way we live in the future. So. Anyways, uh, this story is centered around a man's personal development in terms of what he does as a profession and how he grows and changes in the future. So his name is Guy Montag, and he is a fireman. And these firemen in the future, again, this takes place somewhere between 2040 and 2060, uh, these guys basically are required to create fires rather than putting them out like they do um, during our time. And so what he has to do is whenever he gets a call about a stash of books, he has to go and burn down the facility or burn down the place where the books are found. And so basically it starts off where he's completely in favor of this kind of practice, but then some tragic things happen in his life, which often happens in stories. So tragedy often leads us to making new decisions and changing what we focus on. So three things happen. Someone that he cares about gets killed in a car accident. Um, two, his wife tries to commit suicide. And three, he gets a call about burning some books, but the woman who calls also demands to be burned alive with the books. So these things shift his focus. I mean, how traumatizing could that be to have all three of those things happen to you at the same time? But yep, he goes on a self-discovery journey and figures out that there's other people like him that are starting to question the content in, in literature and wonder why they are banned, why they're not allowed in the society. So his boss is a big proponent against books, and at some point she sends a mechanical dog on him because she finds out he's doing all these things that he shouldn't be doing. He's talking to a retired English professor who's all about reading and trying to help overthrow this uh, corrupt society. And at some point, he actually even throws a flamethrower at her because she's just really getting in the way and causing him all kinds of trouble. But anyways, yep, so we have this big old war at the end. Um, violence sometimes is good when it means overcoming a bad dictator or a bad situation. And then we have the point of climax and, and discovery where these book people all come together and try to create a new, better society. So, yep, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And if you don't know, Fahrenheit 451 is actually the temperature that paper burns. So, interesting fact and tidbit. But, um, again, I hope this was interesting for you, and I hope this inspires you to read it as an audiobook. Yay! Have a good day.